Greetings, everyone. This is Elizabeth. Hello, hello. Happy, happy eclipse day. Did you all see the eclipse? I don't know how that works. I know we had it pretty nice here in Ohio. We had a very lovely eclipse. I took the kids out to go watch it. Traffic was horrendous. So, <laughs> Yeah, it was, it was nice though. It was fun. And we went to uh, a big mall area where we knew there was lots of parking and, uh, there was quite a bit of people and, uh, they all hollered and had a good time when it did the whole eclipse thing. So that was super nice. Wait, where am I at? Um, there we are. I'm trying to find my video so I can look at the comments a little bit better that and make sure I can hear me. I can hear me. Hello, hello everyone. We have T, not afraid of color. PJB Stamper, hello, hello. Craft by J, how are you doing, sir? Jim Eber, hello, hello. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Oh, dad. Sorry, I was looking at a comment and um, yeah, so. <coughs> Jim says, Eclipse was incredible. It was so pretty. Uh, da, 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 da. J Craft by Jay is talking about his um, crop that he got to go do. Do, 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 do. Shopping bag full of stuff. I would like to see it. Um, Mary's Crafty Creations. Hello, hello. Melissa K. Hello, hello. Lisa Acker. How are you doing? Gloria Wolf. Jean Deer. Hello, hello. Hi. I hope everyone is good in honor of the eclipse. I thought we would do, I don't know exactly what we'll do, but we're going to do it with black and white paper. So how does that sound? And black and white, some of it's gray, but that's okay. So, yeah. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do some black and whiting. Black and whiting. Ooh. And, well, let's throw some solar paste in there. Solar. Lunar. <laughs> solar and lunar. I don't know. We'll, we'll get it going. I might use some solar paste. We don't use that enough. Because I, I do like the lunar paste better just because but you know the solar paste is just as pretty um mary alice hello hello maureen Pryor. but i have this old pack of um oh you know what <gasps> i have a moon let's do let me get my moon die cut out and we'll do some pattern papers with a moon because why not my moon doesn't have to wouldn't this be a pretty moon wouldn't that make a pretty moon because we don't have to and then we'll put some of that on it either i don't know which solar paste to use but we'll use one of them <laughs> or all of them um i need a moon guys <laughs> where'd i put my moon um I think it would be not there. Um, 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 if I was a moon. There's my castle. There's that. There's that. That is not a moon. That is not a moon. Um, did I put it in the miscellaneous? Those are words. Those are stamp pairs. Okay. Um, I think it's going to be in this one. I don't know. I don't know where I would have stuffed the moon. Like, if you were a moon, where would you go? I don't know. I know I have a moon somewhere. These are animals animals and critters and things these are florals um 
You guys, I lost my moon. If I was a moon, these are my solid shapies. So it's not in this bucket. Oh, thinky, thinky. It's in one of the two buckets, because that's all I got. That's all I got. Come here, bucket. Oh, my buckets are heavy. Heavy buckets. Okay, we're looking for the moon. We're looking for the moon. There's Santa Claus. There's Santa Claus. There's gingerbread. This is like all Christmas stuff back here. I wonder if I would have put it with Halloween. Because, you know, full moon, Halloween-y. Let's see. <laughs> yep, put it with the Halloween. Halloweeners! Should have thought about that a little bit better. But that's okay. Alright. Do, do, do. So, we've got our moon. Which, this is the Tim Holtz moon and bats set um it is six 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 three eight six i don't even know what it's called but that's you get oh uh, it's so great you get two sizes we'll use a smaller one because i like the do the a2 size we're gonna make a moon so we need a moon um we need a background and I know this whole thing was the moon covered the sun, right? So we're gonna we're gonna try and be fun with it, and then we're gonna get a little bit of white because when the solar eclipse, right, the moon is in front of the sun, and yeah, the moon is jet black, um, and you don't see no detail, but there's this halo of white around it. So I think we'll do that too. And this is just a representation. It's not because it was daylight, right? We had an eclipse in the middle of the day, which was really neat and really cool. Because it all got kind of dark-ish, but not dark, dark, right? It just put this, I don't know, bubbly, bubbly goodness around us. It was interesting. I need, oh look, we have a piece that's already, nope, that's different. Hmm. Which one do I want to be my moon? Ooh, I'll have to think on that. I need, I need, I need, I need a background piece. We could do like our moon, our moon is gonna be a circle circle on circles that might be too much that might be too much let's see what else we have in here we could do florals because it's very nature-esque nature-esque is that a thing i'm making up words <laughs> it's too funny I'm giggling at pam's pam's comment um Let's see. <laughs> Not big dots. We don't want big dots. This might be nice though. So if we do this, that, and then <clears throat> we put our moon, our moon on that, because why not? Let's see. Which one do I want though? I'm still in debate on that. If I want that to be my moon or that to be my moon. I think I'll do this one just because I think this one will be nice. So we're going to cut our moon. And then our moon has, hey, look, we even have a piece. We have a piece. Um, our moon is going to need a background because when you cut this right it's gonna be hollow and so we we want to fill it in the best we can so we're gonna put something that we can see through this Ooh, would it be fun to put this our background paper in there 
through this. And, uh, yeah, that's what I'm feeling. That's what I'm feeling, you guys. That's what we're going to do. So we're going to cut, cut our moon base out of this. And then we're going to cut, yeah. But I don't want it like normally normal. I think I want to work with some triangles again. I really liked our triangle cards the other day. So I think we're going to bring some triangular elements in. Nature-esque is a word. Yay! Yay me. Yay me. Yay, yay, yay. Okay, so we're going to cut our main moon out of this piece. Okay. Just like so. Because, wait, no, that does cut that. Okay, so we're going to plop this. And if we do this right, we could do, like, two cards. But this has got a little bit of... <laughs> it's got a little bit of texture paste on there. Looks like a little bit of uh, our coppery stuff. Okay, so let's cut this. Let's do some choppity chopping. Choppity chopper bits. Do, 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 do. I need to heat up my magic mats. <gasps> Did you guys see? Oh my goodness. Magic mat. Scrapbook.com has magic mat that has a magnet on the other side. If you guys go shopping at scrapbook.com, think of me kindly, please. And uh, use my affiliate link. I know. I'm, I'm needy. Use my affiliate link. Please. I have affiliate links down in the description under my link tree to scrapbook.com, Spellbinders, and Ranger. Um, you guys click on those. It doesn't take you to any weird sites or anything. It takes you right to the sites. Oh, look at that. Oh, isn't that pretty? Oh, and it's going to be so much more prettier when we glob it up with uh, some pasty paste but you click on those affiliate links whether they're my affiliate links or our friends out there like t and j and um dawn i know she's got some of affiliate links you guys just pester her and say hey give me an affiliate link she'll cough one up <laughs> but uh um yeah those affiliate links they get you right to the website and the website says oh that influencer sent them there we're gonna give them a little bit of a commission and yeah that's all that does it's absolutely free for you to use but it really helps us out <laughs> why are all those companies coming out with I need no it would be nice to have a magnet magneted magnetized magic mat but i'm gonna do without i'm okay i will do without as much as i would like one i do not need one and you know we're gonna use me as your crunch he's our lovely uh five and a half deckel trimmer Do, 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 do. Five and a half by four and a quarter normally, but I'm going to take it down to four. This one will be a little bit bigger, but that's okay. And then we're going to take it down to five and a quarter. Like so. And I'm going to ink the edges because I don't really want the white speckly through there. So we'll ink those edges. So we have, let me grab a card base. I think we're going to work on a black card base because why not? So there's our card base and you can see the little white because this has got a white core to it. Well, yeah. And so we'll ink that up. I don't want that whiteness. 
I may be white, but I don't want it to be whiteness there. Okay, so we have this. Then we're going to cut this down. And I want... I want it to be kind of triangular. And I think having them... Yeah. So we're going to cut... I'm going to cut a little section of this. And again, I don't want straight. So we're going to use our Monsieur Crunch. Oh, it's so warm up here today, you guys. We're going to have to start using the AC soon. Um, I'm going to do... Okay. Um, I don't know. We're going to do five and a half, just like the last one. And then we're going to take a little bit off of the side here. And then we're going to put this in here and we're going to go down to see the other one. Let's let me do it to size of the other thing. So we're going to do four by five and a quarter. Okay. That way there when I decide if I want because I can cut it at an angle to fit. Or if I want it smaller and then an angle, I'm not quite sure. I'm thinking, I think I'm going to cut it a little bit smaller and then make our angle cut. So I'm going to go down to three and three fourths. That always throws me for a loop and that was not straight. Pardon me. <laughs> Pardon me while I straighten that out. I don't know what I was thinking there. And then we're going to take it down to five. So we're basically taking a half an inch off of our normal size. So normal size is four and a quarter by five and a half. We've taken off a half an inch for this panel. And we've taken off a quarter inch for this panel. Okay. So that is what's going on there. And then we're going to diagonal cut this one. And we're going to be thoughtful about it, hopefully, so that we can keep this flower at the most part. Again, we're still using that. Um, let me see what it looks like going through this. Yeah, we're going to go, we're going to cut it this way. We're going to cut it this way. So, oh no, that won't work. Nope, nope, nope. That won't work because then my corner, that'll be up top. That's all right. We're going to cut it. We're going to cut it like this. Wait. I want it like this. I want this. Ugh. I should have. Oh, I didn't think about it very well, but that's okay. Oh, we can do it upside down. It'll work. It'll work. I'll figure it out. We'll get it. We'll get it. It's not like the flower has to be standing up right. So we're going to chop that. We're going to use... There we go. Here's our little flower. And we can give it a little bit of a border. Like so. Oh, I like that. There's that. And then our little moon. And then... Our little nod to nature in the eclipse and then we'll get a little backer for this which we're gonna cut out of this paper but because we're cutting this at an angle I don't have enough to cut because um, we could gut this if you were gonna put a full panel okay if you were gonna put a full panel just gut this piece okay if you're if you're gonna do a full panel gut that piece and get the piece you need but I'm not doing that I'm going to leave mine whole because I don't have enough room and that'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Although it's probably going to get hidden anyways. I probably could make it work. I could. I could. But I need... What do I do with the ring? Oh, here it is. So we're just going to take this little piece here and then we're going to cut the rest of our moon out of there. 
And let's send this through to the cutting machine. Potato. Gobble gobble. These patterned paper dealios, man, sometimes they just go really easy. Like everything just kind of falls into place, even though, you know, oh man. Okay. Eh. It didn't cut all the way through because my magic mat is warped. You guys, I've had these for a long time and look it. They're well used. Well, well, well used. We're just going to tidy up the edge here. No big deal. No big deal. Could have ran it through again. That's awesome. Mm. Oh man, identity theft, that's terrible. Somebody's got a sinus infection. I hope it goes away soon. Sorry, I was reading comments. Kimato, Kimato. Hello, hello. Okay, so we have our moon backer. And we're going to put, make sure we don't have anything hiding in there. Put our plates away. And then, and then, we're going to put our card together-ish. So we have that, we have that, we have that, and we have that. Oh, doesn't that look neat? It like, <laughs> because we use the little, uh, if we line this up just right, it's going to look like we cut a little space out of there. How fun is that going to be? It should line up somehow. Oh my goodness. Right there. Look at that. I just lined her up. Ha ha. That is so cool. Okay. I'm, I'm a, probably a little too excited for that. So. Backfire much. But um, yeah. Okay. So I'm happy. I'm happy. But we're going to. We're going to get some. Sh shimmery funness on this. And I'm going to pounce it. I've got a, a crusty, crusty one of these. We're going to grab a spatula. Grab a spatula. And we don't need a ton, you guys. And trust me, we don't. Because we can always, we can always add it, right? So I'm going to add texture by pouncing. Okay? Because our moon is textured. And I know during the eclipse, you couldn't see one stitch of what the moon really looks like. But this is what we're doing. Don't let it flip over, though. We want it to be this way. I am using um, Golden Hour. Okay. I'm using Golden Hour Solar Paste. And I'm pouncing it to give some texture. And it's going to go on very thinly, so it'll dry rather quickly. Okay. <gasps> Ooh, isn't that pretty? Oh, my goodness. Now, I can't really see the patterned paper 100% through there, but you can kind of see it. See, it does have some texture with that patterned paper in there. Oh, that golden. Uh, so nice. So nice. Now, if you would have used, um, like, slippery when wet solar or lunar paste, you wouldn't, you wouldn't see very much of the paper behind it at all because it's more opaque. And this is more translucent, the, that. 
isn't it pretty just a just a teeny bit and look it's almost already dry which is fabulous um we want to let that finish drying and then we're going to this is fine this way but we want to ink up these edges because i don't want those there so we're going to grab shady shady mcshaders then and we're going to get our little blender oh which one is shady i don't even know do we want to use this one we'll use this one this is my black one okay so we're gonna go with shady shady is not black it's just a dark dark um gray but it is the most loveliest color and because it is dark although i feel like that might be a little bit of black in there still that's all right um i'm just teeny weeny can you see that can you see how teeny weeny Look at just a teeny weeny. I'm not swirling too big. I'm doing teeny weeny swirls right at the edge just to give it that nice depth. Look at that. Mm. So lovely. Give it a little bit of depth. Give it a little bit of mm mm mm. That way, there. We can also cover those little white specks. Remember, I didn't want any white specks on mine. So we're just going to do this. Do, do, do. Just a little bit all the way around. All right. So we have that nice and textured. And then we're going to wipe this up. Don't mind that. Um, we're going to find the lid for Shady. Put that back. And then for this one, um, for this one, I do want it a little bit of inky on the edges. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of Shady. We're going to put a little bit of Shady Lunar Paste on the edges. So it darkens it up a little bit, but then it is also shiny. So I'm just going to wipe off this little guy. He's pretty crusty. He's already dried anyways. Okay. It's already dried up. We're going to grab just a teeny bit of this right there, right there on our thing. We're going to wipe a little bit on there. I'm going to go ahead and close this up. It is pretty warm in here, so if you can avoid keeping your paste open for any length of time, that is best. And then we're just going to ink that right up. And if you go thinly enough, oops, come on, your lunar paste can be translucent okay this paper is not <laughs> this is flimsy paper this is almost like copy paper you guys so it uh it'll wrinkle and stuff and be all silly so we just need to be a little bit careful but i got a little wide so we'll come down a little bit there. And then, oh, you know what? I, I just feel like I need to fill this in a little bit more. And then we'll leave that flower exposed. Oh yeah, that's much happier. And then it's so shiny. And that is shady, you guys. Shady, ah, oh, shady, 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 shady. It's so pretty. It's so pretty, pretty. Okay, so we're going to clean. We're going to clean. We're going to clean. 
Do I want to, I'm thinking you guys, I'm thinking, please hold, please hold. Um, here's our card base. You know what? We're going to run a little bit of water on this. We're going to loosen that up a teeny bit. We're going to hold our card base closed. And then we're going to pick up the rest of that shady just on the edges. like so and then I'm gonna dab some of that extra water off and get a little bit more paste up there okay so we got that cleaned up let's go ahead and dry this all right So our plain card base will not be plain anymore. Okay, and see, holding it together, I didn't get very messy. It just, if you're careful, lunar paste and the pasty paste, you know, they're not too messy, but that dried really quickly. Mostly I was drying up the, um, <laughs> the water. Okay. So there's that. Can we see? Oh, look at that. I'm sorry. I smacked you guys. So there's that shininess and then, oh yeah, look at that. See that? just picking up and that's just the waste you guys this right here is all the waste we were going to wipe that up with our rag or our paper towel and be gone with it we revised it re revived it a little bit we sp sprayed a little bit of water on there and then we scooped it up around the edges we didn't need it in the center and then we put our little panel on and look look at that versus I know this is not a card base but versus that see that our card base either this or just a little bit of something something look at that ah oh, so pretty okay and then we bring that lunar paste back with this so we have the shiny shines the shiny shines I need my glue. Uh oh. Ah! It says, You have not been using me. I'm going to clog up. <laughs> So rotten, so rotten. Where's my eraser with my stabby stab in it? Um, I need my pokey tool and I squished my moon by accident. There it is. Okay, we're gonna grab our pen. And actually, let's stab it the other way so we don't shove it back down in there. Let, yeah. There we go. Oh yeah, that was sticky. Okay. There we go. Much better. Oh wait, I gotta put this back on. We gotta do it right. Gotta do it right, you guys. Let's get that on there. Do, 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 do. Okay, so there's our panel with the inky edges. That gives it a little bit of moodiness against our shiny, shiny background. Okay. And then our corner piece, 
to represent our our fabulous earth under our moon and sun okay for this solar eclipse nod nod to the solar eclipse that's what we're doing i'm gonna put that on there just look at that isn't that pretty and you don't have i mean if you like this is this aesthetic right you could put a sentiment on there you don't have to put a moon you could put a bug you could put um another flower i mean you could do a lot and something that's black and white like this you could color a flower or an image and put it as the focal point and it would really pop. However, we're doing the whole moon thing because that's just how I'm rolling. And I'm going to line this up. Yep, right there. Look at that. <laughs> that is so cool. Um, we're going to line that up. You know what? I feel like maybe we should ink those edges just a little bit. Not a ton. So I'm just going to use what's left on my brush. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Just, just a hint. Just a hint, hint, hint. Okay. And then we're going to, wait, was it that way or was it this way? I think it was this way. This way, this way lo leans up much nicer. So we're going to make sure this is the top. And then we're going to glue this up. And then we're going to line this up. very lightly oh my goodness <laughs> look at that it just makes it neat it's like we cut out this piece but we didn't in that nice okay and then this piece we're gonna spin it around until it fits in there a little bit better which is gonna go kind of like that I scrunched it up. That's okay, though. We're gonna... Oops. <laughs> Glue it to my finger. Because that's what I feel like doing. Gluey, gluey, gluey. Wait, no. That goes up that way. I don't even know. It'll, it'll be fine, you guys. There we go. Isn't that pretty? And then to bring in the sun, because, you know, the sun was hanging out behind the moon for a minute or so. Okay, so we're going to pull in our pops of color. Um, I'm going to do a little test because I don't want just a regular line, right? I want it to be kind of, I don't know. I want it to be kind of interesting. So let's grab, I don't know, let's grab this. Come here, you. Let's grab, let's grab this. Because, you know, when the moon was over the sun, there was this nice, beautiful white halo. And pops of color comes out kind of perky. We don't want it perky. We don't. We don't want it perky. We want it kind of spread out. So I'm going to use, I'm going to use this as a little sample, right? So if we go around the moon, right? And then we just kind of dab it. Would that give me the effect I want? I don't know. That's kind of interesting, though. Or do we... Yeah, we don't want to paint it. I don't like how it looks just painted. Because then it gets too clear. Okay. 
that would be great. Let's put this back where it belongs. Okay, so that is with the paintbrush. Let's see if we just kind of do it with this and do like squiggly, squiggly, shakity, shakity. That looks nice. I kind of like that. If we go this way and then pull it out a little bit, that looks nice. I like that. And then we got another tool here. Let's see what we can accomplish. Yeah, I don't like that. Okay. So yeah, I think we'll do this. We're just gonna do kind of like squeeze it out and then make it lumpy and bumpy. And then at, when, it, when I saw it, when it was starting to eclipse on this side, up in the sky on this side, um, when the eclipse was ending, there was a bigger, bigger white area that was popping through. Oh yeah, I think something like that. I think that'll be cool. Heather, hello, hello. Okay, so we're going to try and do that. Let me put this on there. Yeah, I think that'll be nice. The representation of our, our sun behind the moon. And this is all representational, you guys, because yes, I know very well, you could not see detail of the moon in front of the sun. So we're going to start kind of down here and just kind of go around and push out a little bit in some areas. And we don't want to go, because it looked like there was a gap, right? When I was looking at it, it didn't look like... It was right touching the moon. I don't know how to explain it, but there was a little gap. So we're putting a little gap in. And our little pops of color or whatever you have to use. You can even use a white gel pen, honestly, right? We could do this with a white gel pen. But I have pops of color. And I don't use them near enough. They're really cool. They're kind of like a puffy paint, but better. Puffy paints on steroids, if, if we must. Because they're just freaking cool. And then I'm going to do the bigger white flary part right there. And then we're just going to connect our little line right there. There's... Our nod to the solar eclipse done in black and white and grays because we had to throw in some shady. Yeah, yeah. So the um, metallic gunmetal color is shady. That's the shady lunar paste. <laughs> and then the moon is solar paste. Yes, the golden hour solar paste. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. And it has that little bit of detail in there. Mm. And then we used our pops of color to bring in that white aspect. I don't know. I like it. I like it a lot. What do you guys think? <sighs> da, 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 da. But, uh, yeah, you guys, that went really quick for not being prepared in anything. I like it. Our little, huh, our little moon. But we got to set this aside because <laughs> we don't want to touch it. No touchy, touchy. Okay. So, do we have any questions? I guess I could leave it here. Because we finished early, you guys. We finished so early. It was a lot of fun. Let me think here. 
you know what? We could throw together a card really quick. Because I have all this stuff, right? Let's throw another card together really quick. Because why not? Let's throw a card together really quick using our example page. We're going to pull in a piece of white. Let's pull in one of these. We're going to do some white. And we're going to... And I was like, where did I put him? We're just going to cut this down. We're going to do five and a quarter by four. Just like so. And see, even though... <laughs> Actually, I want to cut that down just a little bit more. I want to go down just a wee bit more. We're going to go down and we're going to take a half an inch off the regular dimensions. It is getting toasty up here, you guys. I'm going to have to clean that. I'm going to have to clean that. We're going to do that. We're going to do that. So if we hadn't, we don't have to be wasteful. See, even though we did a little practicing. Oh, I definitely might have cut that a little bit too short, but that's okay. That's okay. Could you make a yellow card? I sure could. Please hold. Please hold. We're just going to show that we can cover up our little scraps. Um, I did cut it a little wonky, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. And by it doesn't have to be perfect, and yet I'm trying to make it more perfect. Don't mind me. There we, there we go. Oh, <laughs> I put glue in there. Remember, there was that circle and we put glue, but don't worry. Okay, so what I'm going to do is trim this down just a little bit so it matches a little bit better. Because sometimes that happens. And it's okay. We're going to just trim a, ch a little hair off of this side. And a little hair off of this much better much better okay and then we have a nice little card panel with our leftovers and I can put a sentiment or a flower on there so I'm gonna go ahead and glue this down okay My cutting skills were a little off today, but that's okay. There. And then we have a base for a good card. I can throw a nice big sentiment on there or a flower or something. So that is, so if you're cutting pieces, right, cover that gutted out part and you can totally um, ditch it and hide it. Nobody, nobody knows that I took my moon out of this piece of paper underneath so just so you know it's not wasteful you just gotta think outside the box a little bit okay so miss pam is needing a yellow card please hold please hold you know what we haven't used very much of the simon hurley let's get oh yeah i know it's pattern paper monday but we're going to ah! stink and stink bug. <laughs> Anybody want to say hello? Say hello. He's joining joining us today. He's being rude. Uninvited guest. 
Every time I turn around. Bleh. Little stinkers. If I have to look at them, so do you. <laughs> so do you. Okay, we're going for... Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Yellow! <laughs> we're going to do yellow, yellow, yellow. What a nice... Oh, that nice buttery yellow right there. Or that one. Ooh, which one do I want? We have that yellow. Or that yellow. That one. I'm thinking, I'm thinking this one. I'm thinking this one. And we need a nice... Ooh, or that one. Oh, there we go. I think we're going to use that yellow. And then we're gonna need, we're gonna need a pattern. Some yellow stripities. Oh, that might be nice. Okay, we're gonna do those. Yellow, yellow with some yellow stripity. Now the nice thing about some of my pattern papers is you can actually make them yourself. Like we have Simon Hurley, um, diagonals we have diagonals that we can cut out and everything you can make your own striped paper striped <laughs> you can make up your own words too i don't judge <laughs> harshly <laughs> okay i judge i judge people a lot i judge bad drivers i judge bad dressers <sighs> i judge bad judgment <laughs> Judgity, judgity. But this, this is a nice bright yellow. And then we're gonna, we're gonna make this even more yellow because, because of the wonderful things. We're gonna throw in some shooting star, but I'm gonna cut this down because we don't need it to be a full, full sheet. And you know, I'm not 100% sure we might put it against black. I'm not sure. Now, the reason why is because black, if you put it against black, it could help it really, really pop. See, really pop. I don't know. So, well, I have both card bases just in case. We're going to chop this down. We're going to... You guys. Okay. You're being stubborn. Get out of there. I think it's dry, but I don't know. Okay. As long as it's dry, I guess. We're going to deco trim. We're going to, let's see, we're, yeah, I want my stripies like this. So we're going to go down to four by five and a quarter. Five and a quarter. <laughs> I don't cut from the bottom. Okay. So we've got our card base. But my car bases are black and white. So you get black or white with your yellow. Although we could take our white and turn it into a different color by ink blending it. Okay, and then this, this we're going to cut straight. And we're going to do, let's see. I need a ch- ah. I don't know why I'm trying to shove a 12 by 12 sheet of paper into <laughs> my little chop chop. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Okay. 
swing arm up, paper in. <laughs> it looks like a little kitty putty print. Um, yeah, I think my cat might have stepped on this piece, but we're going to cut out a clean, uncat stepped area. We're going to clean that off. We're going to turn this over. We're going to clean that off. And then we're going to flip it back over. And we're going to get our four and a quarter. Or no, four. So three. Uh, three seventy-fifths. And then by five. Okay, right. Oh, yeah. Let's flip it over because there's a little blue mark. And then we have those cute little stripies back there. But I think I'm going to trim that down just a wee bit more. Just a wee bit more. So we can see more of our stripes. Okay, I didn't cut that very good. Uh, well, I should say that thing didn't cut it very good. I'm going to cut there. Okay. And then make sure everybody's straight. Okay. Okay, I like that. I got more more of my stripes there. But I do want my, my yellow stripes more yellow. If that's possible, can we do more yellow? Of course we can. Okay, so we're going to do shooting star. Shooting star! Bloop, bloop, bloop. Oh, wrong piece. I need shooting star on this piece. And we'll get that shooting star over our little stripities. Just like so. Look at that. And again, you can create this look if you've got some straight line stamps. Just put it on your paper diagonally. Or if you have dies, I mean, you could totally make a lattice. Oh, look at that. Now see, the lines are still there. I just subdued back the lines a little bit and gave it that extra pop of that yellow. Oh, that's so nice, it's so nice. Okay, and then I'll have to get a different base. Something happened to this one, I don't even know. But we have white. Yeah, not the black, not the black. But I think we are going to do blue for this. I don't know what I got on this, but it's okay. It's okay. We're going to grab... A, I don't want to muck up the back of this. I want to get inky ink on the front. So we're going to put this in a piece of paper. Okay, this is just a piece of copy paper. That's so that the back part doesn't get inky. Okay. But we're going to grab a blue after we put this away. Because Pam said she like a blue for the background. And yeah, I'm not going to go cut blue because I'm lazy. But we can. We can make a blue. We can make a blue background. And if we're going navy, let's do midnight snack. Midnight snacky poo. Do, do, do. And we're just going to ink. I mean, it's not navy, navy, but it's close enough. And we're just going to ink until it's the desired darkness. The Simon Hurley inks are nothing like Catherine Pooler or some of the more juicier ink pads out there. If you want it really dark, you got to add more ink. Because you can... They're designed to go super smooth to almost nothing to build up in the, the darkest, darkest of whatever you want.
Mm. Okay, now flip it over to this side so I can get to this side. specs were down here are now disappearing so that's nice oops okay so right there I just hit it that's one reason I don't like inking with paper because um, sometimes it just doesn't blend as nicely and see, I'm losing all that ink because it's just sitting in there soaking in. But if you get a little spot, you can just keep adding ink until it kind of goes away. Although that was a really dark mark. Dark mark. Don't mind me. But now we have this beautiful blue. I want it darker up here. Beautiful blue background, right? Now, if we look at our paper, we can see that it's all blue and smudgy, okay? But if we pull out our card base, look at that, all nice and clean. So keep yourself a little scrap piece of paper, you know, just tuck it, fold it so that you can tuck your cards in however you need to, and then you can ink them up without getting them all muckety-muck. Um, I do need to clean that because 10 to 1, I'll stick my <laughs> stick my card right in there. So let's get that cleaned up. Do, 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 do. Okay. So here we've made our own colored paper, right? Because who, who, yeah, who, who. We've got our yellow base because Pam wanted a blue base with yellow so we we can do even in our lazy state of not wanting to get up and get blue cardstock because yeah that's me we'll just use what we have on hand because i can we'll make our own blue and just look at that ain't it pretty okay but we got to take that little bitty piece, this piece right here, and we're going to, we're going to put some stuff alophagus on it. Let's grab, um, wait, where did I put them? Um, 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 okay. Please hold. Please hold. I know what I want. I know what I want. There's you. There's you. Okay. Where would I put it? Did I put it away? Is it possible I put something away? I have a feeling probably not, but. Whew. I might have. Um. Um, um, um. Trying to find my new. staring right at it. Oh, yes, I found it. Okay, so we're going to get our little stamp wheel and we're going to get, um, we're just going to peel, we're going to peel the sticky part out 
because I really like the sticky part, but my stencil is too big. So I'm gonna go ahead and put, I'm gonna figure out where I want this first. We're gonna stencil on some of these lovely little flowers. Okay, where's number one? That's number six. There's number one. Okay, so I'm gonna put number one right there. Wait, uh, is the coating gonna peel? I don't know, maybe the coating will peel. I don't know, it's all right. It's Spellbinder, so maybe not. So I'm gonna put the stencil in the corner so hopefully it'll make it easier for us. And then we're gonna put our little piece right here is that where i want that i feel like that's where i want that so let me peel that off and i'm going to straighten this out just a little bit okay mr simon hurley hello hello okay so then i can use the corner of my stick mat right for my stencil so hopefully they'll all <laughs> they'll all line up afterwards right it's all we can hope for and then there we go okay so we're gonna set that in there and then we're going to grab our yellow bin yellows yellow schmellows and then oh, I didn't put it away there it is we're gonna start with um, let's see how we're going to start with shooting star and then run into over the moon and then guppy that should work. So we're going to grab ourselves some shooting star yellow on yellow. You guys, how exciting. I'm excited. This is one of the new Simon Hurley um, Spellbinders Twirling Tulips stencil. It has a coordinating um, embossing folder as well. So you could totally emboss if you wanted. But we're just going to use the... I'm really caking it on, you guys, because I really, really, really want to make sure it's nice and yummy yellow. So... And I can, I can do just that. Take it on. Oh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? So that was layer number one. This is layer number two. We're gonna try and get it here into the center. Try and line everything up. Okay. And then we're going to go into our next yellow, not shooting star. That's our shooting star brush. Um, over the moon. Over the moon, Alice. Okay. So, I, again, I was able to line this up on the corner. And probably let's not ink our hands. We'll put that right there. I'm gonna go in with some over the moon. Mm. Stay put, little piece. Okay. Ooh, isn't that pretty? Okay, that's number two. Here's number three, our fine detail, which we're gonna go in with a little bit of guppy to do that. Okay. Over the moon. So we started off with shooting star over the moon, and then we're gonna come in with some, um, do I want slippery when wet or do I want, you know, 
I said guppy. Let's go with guppy. I think a guppy will be a nice detail. And we'll just squeeze it in there. And guppy is more on the orange side, but I think it'll work really nice with our yellows. And if it doesn't, then we know next time. Don't do that. But I think it'll be butamus. And I've got this nice little detail brush. Just got it from Amazon. You can get black handles, multicolored handles. They're just like little makeup brushes. Like everybody's carrying them. them. So if you want to get your favorite companies, you can head to their websites and see what they've got. I know like Waffle Flower has some. They're a little bit stubbier, I think. Okay. So we did Shooting Star, Over the Moon, and Guppy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look. Look. Can you see? Can you see? Now on number two... Okay, I don't know if you guys noticed, but number two has the little stamens. So all you got to do is get those lined up in there and then you can do your little stamens a different color. So we're going to do that because I forgot to do that the last time I used these. It's a little harder to see on. Okay, so we're going to set that just like that. Okay, and then I'm going to use, um, I'm going to use more of a traffic cone, I think. I'm going to really get my stamens a little orangey. Let's see how we did. Woo! Look at it. So I used traffic cone to do those stamens. A little traffic cone. Look at those. Aren't they pretty? Okay, so that is that. So that was number three. So we need to find number four, which I think is going to be our stems. Our stems. Oh, nope, that's number five. So number four is our leaves, our leafery. Again, we're going to put it as, you know, right in the corner of our sticky sheet here. And they just kind of swirl in there like so. And we don't want to go too dark with our green, right? Because that's our base color. So um, we do want to be a little bit careful with that. So we're going to come in here with our... Um, sorry, I really need to relabel these because I cannot see them very well. We're going to come in with some overzealous. 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 Get our greens, although that's not really my greens, I don't think. Um, we're going to put overzealous on this one. Connie Carson. Hello, hello. Well, thanks for popping in. Yes, these are the Simon Hurley Spellbinders collab. Um, well, Simon Hurley's with Spellbinder produced them, you know. I don't even know. But yes, Mr. Simon Hurley. Under the Spellbinders brand. There we go. And these are called Twirling Tulips. And they're beautiful. Just the stencil all by itself. But there is also a um, an embossing folder that you can emboss and then these stencils fit over the embossing folder. So it's it's pretty pretty nice setup. And I got mine from Spellbinders for being on the design team. Though I already made my card. So this is just because because I like it. I like it. 
Um, yeah. <laughs> I already did my quota of a fulfillment. But yeah. Oh, look it! Uh, and you can totally be done. But why? Why be done when they give you two more stencils? <sighs> oh my goodness. Okay, so this is number number five. Okay, and so we're just going to, oh, I'm trying to line it up. Just put it on my thing right there. Okay, so we're going to, that one's kind of a little bit crooked. Although, no, maybe not. That sits on there right, that sits on there right-ish. Sorry, this one is not quite lining up. Let's get you real Maybe it's not supposed to. Okay. Ah! I moved it. Don't move. Okay. I got it. I got it. <laughs> Quit moving things. Quit moving things. So I am going to go with a darker green. I'm going to go in with Lady Gata. Lady Gata. I love these names. Okay. Come in here. Get our stem. And I'm going to go really dark at the base of these. And then bring that down. Because we can do, we can do. And again, the sticky mat that I'm using is the Altenew sticky mat for the stamp wheel. Um, if you're not interested in the stamp wheel, definitely try the just the sticky mat. You can stick it right to your table. It's great when you have these big stencils. Because like this is huge. This is a huge stencil. It's a half a sheet of paper, you guys. And then I actually want to see if I can't get this just a little bit darker right at the base. There we go. I want it really, really juicy dark. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready? Look at that! Yes, Mr. J won the stamping wheel and I'm going to be hanging out with him. Um, soon he's got to let me know when we're going to hang out and we're going to play with our stamping wheels. I'm so excited. I'm excited for Jay. Okay. And then this is number six and this, this is like the super fine, fine detail. And the only one I'm really worried about is this one right there. The rest of them, they can just kind of go wherever. Now I'm going to get my my fake plant because that is a beautiful rich green and we're gonna cake that in there now if you if you only have a couple of colors right um so you do your color lightly and then you go over it again, especially with inks like Simon Hurley's. You can do it very lightly and then go over it again to darken it up. I could have easily done this with one ink color for the flower and one ink color for the um, leaves. But I have it, so I'm going to use them all because I can. Okay, so there is fake plant. Ooh, look it, look it, look it. Oh my goodness, isn't it just scrum diddly um just? Okay, um, I'm missing, I don't know what I'm missing. I have a cap. One of my brushes is missing. Should I put something away without a brush? I don't even know. What's going on here? 
No, you have yours. Oh, yep. This one, Gina Kay's brush. Gotta get that in there. There we go. Gotta protect those yellows. But there it is. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And you can see I might have messed up a little bit. Might have. I don't know. But it's all right. It got a little smudgy right there. But that's okay. It's okay. And then this. My, mine is stained, you guys, because I used alcohol markers and they bled through the paper. And yeah, alcohol markers will stain your stain your stuff. So don't do that. Just don't. Just don't. <sighs> yes, this stencil is gorgeous. Gorgeous. And it's really great because, it, like I said, it's really big. I mean, let me zoom out for you guys. It's a half a sheet of paper. Come here, paper. It, okay, it's bigger than a half a sheet of paper. I mean, look at that. It goes over. So you can make um, journaling pages. I mean, you can do all sorts of stuff. I took one and cut it down the center and was able to make um, a couple of cards with with one sheet. So you could totally fill the whole, do the whole thing and then make a couple of cards. Slimline cards. I mean, if you cut it in half, you can make slimline cards. I actually went through and cut all the flowers out and um, I say that. Let me see if I can find it. Yep, so I actually cut the flowers out. Now this one here is done with the embossing folder. So you can see that texture in there. But I fussy cut all the pieces out and put them in my own arrangement. So you can totally chop it up, change it up, but that's the same, that's the same let me get that out of the way just with the embossing folder versus no embossing folder but I did use the stencils on the embossing folders and you can see I forgot to do the uh, stamens but that's okay but yeah ain't it pretty but yeah I just chopped it up and then I was able to lift stuff up and do all sorts of fun stuff so, okay, let's finish this. We want it to be a little bit extra. Okay, so we're going to get some foam. Some foam, a dip. We must. Ah. Twirling tulips. Twirling tulips. Cheryl Jackson. Hello, hello. If you guys have any questions, you can pop it in, in um, like Ms. Pam does for me so I can see them. And if I still miss it, just scream at me, you know, because <laughs> I don't always look at the chat like I should. But I do my best. I do my best. Okay. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, I like that. Okay, now if you have a little bit of trouble getting your, your layers to lie flat, you can swoop out the arms, not lie flat, go on there straight. If you have troubles being straight, <laughs> flap out your wings. <laughs> I don't know. Don't judge me. Okay, so... This part is not sticky, so I can maneuver down here, okay, because if you can align three, right, sides and bottom, the top is going to fall into place. So only worry about the bottom part, right? You're kind of going for some, some symmetry, so we can look at that, and then we can plop it down. Just like so. And then we can pull our wings out. Just like so. 
Just like so. Look at that. And then, and then, who is this person? Who is this person pulling out these things? These are the new handwritten by Simon Hurley. And this is the one I want right here. This one right here. Oh, nope, not you. I just had it. Ah. I cut them out of black and white. Um, absolutely fabulous. I did forget to put sticker paper on the black. So the black ones are not stickers, but the, my white ones are stickers. I put uh, sticker paper behind the, the white ones. Okay, so there's part of it. So where'd the other one go? I need... Is that you? There it is. I was going to say, where'd it go? So I've got my white and I've got my black. Now, there's a couple... You... The handwritten sentiments also come uh, with the shadowy bit, right? So you could totally do like the whole shadowy bit thing. And again, my white ones are stickers and my black ones are not. And oddly, it's not so hard to find what goes with what if you can find it there you are oh no nope, that's black I need a white one <laughs> I need a white hugs not a black hugs please hold I know you guys you guys are so wonderful just hanging out with me okay so there's that and then there's that okay so like I'm kind of feeling the black base with the white letters. I'm kind of feeling that one. And I'm feeling like maybe it should go over my boo-boo. Hmm. No. I We'll, we'll em, em, embrace the boo-boo. We're going to put it down here. But I'm feeling like that one. White hugs with black shadow. Yeah. I, I'm feeling that way too. Okay. So we're going to do that. Now, like I said, my white ones are stickers. And all sorts of companies like scrapbook.com. Affiliate link down below. Um, have sticker papers. They're double-sided sheets of stickers. And you can die cut them, attach it to paper like I did. I attached a whole sheet of sticker paper to a whole sheet of paper and then ran it through my cutting machine. Because I have the big platinum so I was able to crank out all the words all at once. Oh yeah, I was. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It was fabulous. And then I went in and filled in some of the voided areas and ran it, ran it through again. So I had zero, z barely any waste, barely any waste. Okay, so we got that there. We got that there. We're going to throw that away. And then, you know... When, when somebody's feeling down and they need a hug, they also need some bleach. So, pulling out all the stoppity stops. Oh yes, here we go with these ones right here. We're gonna do some hearts, cause when you hug, you're shaking, shaking your heart. No. Okay. We're going to put a couple, I don't know if a couple or just one. We'll see. 
These are little iridescent hearts. They're kind of big though. That's all right. Well, look, we can cover our little boo-boo. Let's pull you down. Kind of iridescent -y. Come on, flip over you. Oh, you're being a bad heart. There we go. I'm gonna put that one there, put that one there. Gonna put that one. It's being terrible. You know what? I don't like those hearts. For some reason, they're weird on this paper. Fabulous, fabulous rainbow. Okay, so we got to try something different. Um, oh, here we go. Here we go. Crystals. That's, oh, we got little yellow ones. Look it. That's, that's what we need. We need little yellows, not little hearts. We need little yellow crystals. We'll put one there, one there, and then we'll do a couple over here, and get you over here. I need a smaller one, though. There we go. Okay, so there we go. We're going to put three around the hugs, and then we'll put two over there. So we'll have five blingy blings. Okay. I don't want to cover that heart too, or that flower too much, but we'll go like that. There. Look at that. Oh, that's better. Yes. I like it. Pardon me. I got stuff falling all over me. Okay. Oh, yes. the yellow paper cut with a stickle cutter um yeah i used the deckle trimmer by tim holtz manly made minute well hello sir mr manly made minute is part of the um anthony's paper craft design team as am i but um, I, I need to get my rumpus in gear. I've got to make a couple cards for Mr. Anthony of Anthony's Paper Craft. Uh oh, no. I need you to stay there. No, stay in the glue. Okay. So, and these are gems that were gifted to me from Cordelia. But these are Pink Fresh Sunshine. Pink Fresh Sunshine. But uh, you guys can use your Jemmy Gems from anywhere. And there is Miss Pam. Oh. So we, let's break it down. Let's break it down. We used um, Midnight Snack Ink to get our blue. Because we didn't want to get up and go cut a sheet of blue. Don't judge me. We used a yellow pattern paper and then inked it up with some shooting star to make it more yellow. Then we used a yellow piece of paper to do our Simon Hurley twirling tulips. Twirling tulips. And um, we did a shooting star over the moon and guppy. And then this this part here, this stamen, is traffic cone. Then we did overzealous, later gator, and um, fake plant for our greenery. And then this is the handwritten sentiments, also by Simon Hurley. Um, they're dyes under these uh, spellbinders 
brand name and then we threw on some embellishments and before that before that we made our tribute to <laughs> Um, our tribute to the uh, solar eclipse today, we did some pattern paper tribute. We brought in some florals to represent nature. We did our moon. Now, granted, in the solar eclipse, you don't get to see what the moon looks like at all. But we did use our Tim Holtz moon dye and we put some... <laughs> We really got into it. We put some solar paste on that moon and we put some lunar paste on the paper part so we could have some extra shiny, shiny bits. And then we took and put a little bit of pops of color around to represent the sun still giving that lovely white glow when they crossed over each other. It was, it was really magnificent. And I hope everybody got to see it because it was a sight. I don't know. It was it was so pretty. It was so pretty. But those are our cards that we made today. So yeah, we. <laughs> I'm trying to be careful because that pops of color is not dry, and we don't want to touch it. But uh, we're gonna have these. These cards are all done. Uh, and yeah. So. Whew. There, there it is, you guys. Uh, so many yellow gems. Linda G, hello, hello. I hope everybody had a wonderful day. And um, that's it, my friends. If I missed a question, you can definitely email me, chatwithsassy at gmail.com. Or you can, I'm on Instagram under Elizabeth Costa Rogers. I'm also on Facebook, also Elizabeth Costa Rogers, or in our group, Chat with Sassy's Crafty Friends. All of those wonderful places are linked down below in my link tree, Chat with Sassy. Melissa K, thank you, thank you. Um, and we will see you guys. And it's just kind of crazy. We went dark to bright. Woo! Because we can do that. We can flip a switch. And uh, yeah, thanks everyone. Have a great evening and we will see you. You guys, are you ready for it? On Wednesday, Mr. J, Mr. Craft with, or yeah, Craft by J is going to be hanging out with me and we're going to be playing with some lunar paste. Lunar paste. I know, we just did lunar paste and we're going to do more lunar paste. Because Lunar Pace is awesome. So we'll see you Wednesday, 7 p.m. Eastern, right here on the channel. Until then, have a great evening. And thank you, Ms. Connie Carson, for popping in. And Mr. Um, Manly Made Minute, I do appreciate that. If you like the content, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Because I do go live every Monday and Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern. And then some. <laughs> Yes, the fun 